Hello everyone, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix such strange and annoying problem in Unity. So, uh, first of all, what I have here, I have here imported uh, a model, uh, so it's a model, it's a you know, model available as asset in asset store, so, you know, to avoid any problems with ragdoll so I just imported this wonderful model to my project uh, to be sure that I have no problems with my ragdoll and now I'm going to mm, to move this ragdoll very fast so I'm going to rotate this ragdoll so I'm going to hold this ragdoll by its arm bone and move it very rapidly so I have here so I have to disable this and I have to disable this and here we go I have here spring joint component attached to this game object and connected body its right arm rigid body so I'm going to add here uh, component animator and uh, pick here the avatar I mean not avatar controller so this one this will play animations so y you can see here so this is very basic animation of rotating so and now I'm going to click play and you guys will see what's gonna happen so and you can see that my ragdoll is crazy enough and you know this limb is stretching it's you know crazy mistake that I'm using this now here so I'm showing you this crazy mistake that I made with my mm, ragdoll I mean not ragdoll I mean you know settings of my of my project so what I mean when I say not proper settings of my project so basically I'm going to show you this right now so I'm going to project settings time and I'm changing fixed time step value to this one. And I made this fixed time step, you know, 10 times uh, smaller, you know, this value. And now you can see that this soldier is, mm, you know, his reaction of, you know, his skeleton of his bones, I mean, to physics, you know, is more stable. So he is not stretching anymore. But you can uh, you should understand that this is affecting your uh, your performance. So you can uh, so as small this value is, as bigger impact onto your performance and as better physics reaction you have. So if I change it to uh, change it it to zero, so you can see that my speed of you know uh, frame rate is dropping so I have to change also this value and you can see that physics now is more smooth but time scale is smaller I mean so you know it's like a s slow motion but it does not work good because we are using we are using in our scripts fixed time scale so it's not very good so you have to leave this value time scale as one and this value should be changed instead so well, this is a standard time scale so one so no no slow motion no fast you know no time lapse it's one so so it's standard speed and uh, basically this is what helped me to to reduce stretching in my case but also I found one way that may work for you guys also so uh, here you can see here is a very small script I copied it from this okay my mono develop is frozen so you can see it so this is this script not not responding mono develop okay anyway let's uh, let us continue so I have here I want to delete this guy I mean to hide this 
and let's just focus and uh, I take uh, all his uh, bones with collider component attached and I add a very simple script to to his limbs so okay does this one neck head head uh, I hide this com this bone so I need to add component to I mean I need to add a special script to mm, only his uh, you know game objects you know his neck I mean bones that has this you know uh, rigid body mm, and joint component added so I have to look through so this is okay this one this one so let's just add except root bone except root bone so I have to add it here and here here and here so this script I gave a name of this script you know so this is like anti ragdoll anti stretch so this one spine spine one sp spine let's just add it here also left arm and left forearm then head only only head no neck right arm right forearm also add this component and that's all now I'm I'm clicking play and we can see that uh, you can see that model now model now is not stretching right so you have guys basically two options to fix stretching of your rag doll so first option is to uh, mess with uh, time value so uh, you know this is a standard value of time step and if you you know make it smaller so your animation I mean not uh, so your reactions of your uh, you know any joint physics in your game w will be better but it will impact your uh, your CPU uh, speed or you know performance somehow so you can play you know with values here so let's just you know say that okay so we have this guy working pretty good so he's not stretching anymore with this script so we can see it now so he is not stretching but something is wrong with his body still and you don't want you know to have this problem right and you basically you can choose your your way so to attach this script and this is this script this script will also be attached uh, you know it I will uh, put this script into description of this video you know in the section of description and you will be able to attach this script to your ragdoll so this is about this one yep and now so we have this uh, anti stretching ragdoll script attached to his to ragdoll and now let's go you know back and let's just uh, disable this script and let's just play with uh, values of t of fixed time step so I'm going to disable this for now spine spine okay right leg right upper leg left leg upper leg and let's just get back to what we have what we had before so we have here stretching ragdoll crazy crazy stretching and let's just go to our uh, time and play with this value so you have to pick the biggest value that will uh, make you satisfied with physics in your game so let's just try this value first so you can see that you know 
so that mm, you still have this stretching but you know it's not good okay let's just go and 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 try something else so that so this will yeah. still not good let's just replace this with seven okay now it's much better right but still you can see this stretching so let's just try five okay five is cool value I guess in this case right I just click here and check it out so okay so so in this case this value is better so zero zero five and please uh, remember initial value you you uh, you know insert here it's very important so you know guys you should not change time scale because it can mess up you know whole you know whole you know scripts in your game so your game is based on fixed time scale right so you have you know the function you know like you know uh, blah 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 equals time dot delta time right uh, it's a fixed time and here if you change this value it can mess up whole your project so be careful you know with this yeah you know those numbers you know they are very very important you know for you to remember okay so in a, so in my case yeah so once again you have two options to add this script to the um, to the um, bones of your model that have uh, rigid body component so this script or to change uh, this value fi fix it time step so it's so so it's your choice and thank you for watching this video i hope this video you know helped you to fix your issues with with ragdolls and you know with joints in your game with physics and have a good time and, uh, and bye 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 and have a good time see you later oh, oh i forgot to to press this